Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna be showing you a very natural but bright holiday makeup look. If you guys would like to see this look, please keep watching. So I'm gonna start this holiday look off by using this Stila One Step Color Correct. This stuff is awesome, I use this all the time. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers all over my face. Next I'm gonna color correct my eyes. I'm gonna be using my Dwar Fix It Color and it's in the number 200. All I'm gonna do with this is fly this underneath my eyes and this will really help to get rid of any darkness. As usual, I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend. Next thing I'm gonna do is use my concealer, my YSL concealer, and just go over the color correcting that I did underneath my eyes just to eliminate some of that peach that's left over. The peach is just the base color to color correct and then to apply the actual color. This I'll also apply wherever else I need it, usually on the sides of my nose. Now I'm going to apply a primer. This is my little sample size, but I've really, really been liking it, so I'm just gonna use this. It's the Ambient Light Color Correcting Primer in Mood Light by Hourglass. This stuff is awesome. This is one of my favorite, favorite brands. I'm just gonna apply, just like I did with my color correct, kind of all over my face, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, and it's also just primer, so you don't need too, too much. Same thing, again, gonna use my fingers. Probably shouldn't use my fingers so much, but it's just so easy to do, and it works pretty well. My overall goal for this holiday look is to have something that still feels natural, but make it bright and make it nice and fun with a little bit of sparkle. And also on the face, I want my face to look bright, but not like I'm wearing too much makeup. So this primer really helps like lighten up my face uh, right off the bat. So I'm gonna use a very subtle foundation on top of this. For my foundation, I'm just gonna use this stick. It's very, very easy to use. I really like this product. It works really, really well, and it's great to just throw it on really quickly. You know how much I like that. This is the number nine Normous Neutral, and all I'm gonna do with this, kind of just apply it wherever I think I need it. What's nice is it's very buildable, and you don't need to worry about putting too much on. You can use a sponge with this. However, I'm just gonna use my fingers again. So I really like that foundation because it is very, very lightweight. It matches my skin tone really, really well. And it still really gives that effect of my primer, which I really like because it is so brightening. So I feel like I don't need anything that strong as a foundation. Just so this sets, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyes, just because I like this to dry before I actually put my eyeshadow on, which I'm gonna do a few steps from now. So I just kind of apply this all over my lid and then I'm just gonna use my fingers and blend it. Next, I'm going to move on to my bronzer. I'm using my Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer. This stuff is awesome. I absolutely love this. I actually use this shade year round. It's a very natural shade and it is buildable, so it's kind of what I make of it. If I want it to be very heavy, then I can make it heavy, but I'm just gonna actually use this for contouring. I'm not gonna put this all over my face. I don't need to look too bronzed, so I'm just gonna use my Sephora Pro Flawless Bronzer in the number 46 brush. And I'm just gonna use this brush on the contours of my face. It's hard because I can't talk and suck in my cheeks at the same time. So I'm just gonna tell you first and then do it. I'm gonna apply a little bit underneath my cheekbones, a little bit on the sides of my forehead, the sides of my nose, and underneath on my jawline. Then with this, obviously this is way too defined, but I actually like to apply my blush because I put it right over my bronzer, so it kind of gives me a nice line to kind of judge it by, and then I blend it together. For some reason, my blush brush is MIA, so I'm just gonna be using this crown brush. I think this is just from one of my Ipsies, and I'm gonna be using my NARS sample of the shade Gulag. I have no idea how to say that, so I'm gonna put it in the description. As always, everything will be there so you can check it out. I love this shade because it's a little bit brighter than my normal, very natural looking blushes, but it's very Christmassy. It's not too red, it's not too pink, kind of right in the middle and it's got a really nice shine to it. So I'm just gonna apply this right above my cheekbones where I made my contour line. Just a very thin layer. Usually it comes out a little too strong and then I have to blend it, but just kind of smile and just drag it up. I want this to look not like I do every single day because that is very, very minimal makeup. I want it to be a little bit brighter, as I said many times already for the holidays. So normally to blend this, I could use my beauty blender, but I'm just gonna use my fingers. That probably will drive some makeup gurus like absolutely nuts, but I just 
you know, it's just so easy to do and fingers actually do a really great job at blending. I make sure my hands are clean, by the way. That is something that I always do before applying makeup. I make sure I scrub my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna feel like a total grandma right now, but this is really hard to tell if this is blended. <laughs> so I've gotta use my glasses. Okay, so not bad. So as you can see, you can definitely see the blush. I like it because it's a nice flushed kind of look. It's perfect for the holidays. Very, very pretty. I don't know, it's like an elegant color. That's why I really like it. Now I am so excited to use this. Oh my gosh. This is my new Hourglass Ambient Lightening Palette. This is awesome. I cannot wait to use this. I did use the blush because I like that NARS one for this holiday look. This does actually come with these top two R blushes and they are gorgeous, but I did really wanna use this one today, so I'm just gonna use this for my highlight. I also have the brush that goes with this palette. This is the Ambient Lightening Edit Brush. So this one specifically goes with the palette which you do not need by the way, but I just really love their brushes. They're so, so, so soft and they, I love the palette so much, so I did get the brush. So for this today, I'm actually gonna be using the Surreal Light Powder, the bronzer and the highlight, so just not the two top blushes. The first thing I'm gonna do is use the wider end of my brush and use the finishing powder and apply this all over my face. This is really just gonna help to lighten up my face. Okay, and now I'm going to use the flip side of my brush. It's the thinner end of the brush and I'm gonna use the bronzer. So although I did apply my contour, I'm actually gonna put this over it because this has a really nice shine to it. That kind of gave me my actual contour. This is more gonna bring a little bit more attention to it, I would say. I'm really just gonna focus on underneath my cheekbones and then I'm also gonna apply it right at my temples because I could use a little pretty highlighting bronzer there. Maybe a little bit on my nose too, just cause it's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna use my arm and just kind of brush out the excess of the blush. And I'm gonna go to my highlight powder here. This one is called the Surreal Strobe Light. And I'm gonna use that same thin end as I did before. So I'm going to use this and apply it to the top of my cheeks. Oh, I love this brush. This brush is so nice. I'm gonna apply this also to the bridge of my nose, a little bit to my brow bone, which I'll probably highlight a little bit more later, but still nice to do. My Cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead here. What I love about this palette, I have to say also, not only do I love like the really healthy glow that I feel like it gives you, I also love that you can use those highlighting shades wet. So you can apply some water and they're gonna be more intense which is awesome. They have a little booklet too that like comes with it. So it tells you about it and how to do it and stuff like that, which is really helpful. Now that I've done that, I'm going to move to my brows. I'm gonna use a very natural brow look. I really wanna accent my eyes, which I'm gonna do very shortly. So I'm just gonna be using my brow gel. I'm not gonna use a pencil today. I'm gonna use my Benefit Gimme Brow in the number three. It's the medium shade. And I'm just going to run this through my eyebrows and let them look pretty natural. All this will do will make them look a little bit fuller, nothing too crazy. So I like this product because it makes my eyebrows look very natural, just a little bit more color to them, but nothing like crazy. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm finally gonna move on to my eyes. I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I love this palette. I don't use it too much because it's got a lot of colors that are like special colors, <laughs> I think. And they're not like something I would use daily, but they've got a lot of nice glittery ones in here. So I'm gonna use these for my holiday look today. First thing that I'm gonna use is the shade Pop. It's in this bottom corner here. I'm just gonna use my basic small shadow pro brush from Sephora and I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. I love this shade because it's so light but it's really sparkly so it's gonna be perfect for the holidays. I just am carrying this color up to my crease and kind of focusing on the inner corners of my eye to overall brighten up my look. The next shade that I'm gonna use is this top one here. It's called Steady. I'm gonna use the same brush. I know probably the same people that don't like me using my fingers to blend things wouldn't like that I use the same brushes, but I'm gonna apply this color to the outside corner of my eye, kind of make like a nice two-toned lid, carry it up to my crease and a little bit towards the middle. Kind of makes it a little bit darker, still nice and light and sparkly. I'm actually liking this shade a lot, so I'm actually using this brush and carrying it up into my crease because I don't want something super dark. I want something that really accents 
this color and I feel like the shade is really pretty and it gives me a little bit more definition. So as you can see, it gave me a little definition, a little bit darker. Underneath my eyes, I'm actually gonna use this shadow liner instead of the shadows from the palette. I'm gonna be using my Milk Makeup Shadow Liner in the shade Moonlighter. And this is a really pretty light, soft brown. It's very easy to use. And I'm just gonna apply this underneath my lower lash line. I don't wanna do, I wanna really focus on the outer corners because I don't want my eyes to appear too dark. But again, just giving it a little bit more definition. I'm gonna go back in with this palette and use my crease brush. I'm gonna use the shade Pop once again, just because it's such a light and fun color. I'm gonna just get it all over my bullet crease and I'm gonna apply this towards the inner corners of my eye. I wanna get a lot in there because I really want it to look naturally festive. I guess for this. So the part of this look that I want to be the most noticeable is I really wanna keep my eyeshadow light. The thing that I'm gonna focus on is my eyeliner. I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I really like this because I still want this look to look natural-ish. I'm gonna be using it in the shade, in the brown shade instead of the black. And I'm gonna make a nice wing liner just on my top lid. I'm gonna have to probably focus more on the mirror than the camera here though because this is gonna get a little tricky. Now, I decided to make this quite a bit thicker than I originally thought I was going to because I still want it to look festive, but I really liked it a little bit thicker. I think it brings out the blue in my eyes, especially with so much brown. You can do a thinner liner, and I was originally going to for a more natural look, but I actually like this for the holidays. And I really like the brown, even though it's very thick, it kind of pulls you back a little bit and still makes it look a little less intense. Uh, next, I'm gonna be using my eyelash curler. Curl my eyelashes, obviously. Now, before I add my mascara, I'm gonna do a little bit of a color underneath my eyebrows just to brighten it up a little bit more, make it a little bit lighter. Before I finish with my mascara, I'm gonna lighten up my brows a little bit. I'm gonna be using my Benefit High Brow Glow Pencil. This is really easy to use, and it's a really subtle addition to your look, but it's really pretty. So I just kind of apply this to the outer corners of my eyebrows, blend it in with my fingers. I also like to apply my setting mist before I go and finish with my mascara because I don't want it to weigh on my lashes. I'm gonna be using my Super Goop Setting Mist with Rosemary. It also has sunscreen in it. This is one of my favorite products right now. It feels really, really good. And I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. I'm going to finish my eyes with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. So to finish this look, I'm going to be doing my lips and I'm gonna use my lip scrub before I apply my lipstick just to kind of de dead skin off and prep my lips. And for my lip color today, I'm gonna be using my Milk Makeup Lip Color in the shade Cream. This I like because it's very natural looking. I really want the focus to be on my eyes, so I want a very subtle lip. Gotta make sure I get all the scrub off. So everyone, this is my finished holiday makeup look. So obviously your lip color will depend on what you're wearing or how intense you want your look to be. I really wanted the focus on my eyes, as I said, so I wanted something very subtle that just kind of accented my look, not draw the attention away from my eyes. So that's it for today's holiday makeup look, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.